Well, we're, we're really excited about the early data, so detecting uh, lung cancer from a blood draw. We've shown the ability to detect it in nine out of 10 patients with a very low false positive rate. That's, nobody's ever been able to do that before. We have a lot more work to do to prove that out to ourselves and then eventually to clinicians and the FDA. But we've seen similar data for the detection of liver cancer from a blood draw. And so we're working across um, the top 10 cancers with, uh, with the Mayo Clinic as our main partner in, in developing these tests. There's a lot of work to do, but the early results are really promising. You know, these things are, are typically measured in decades, not years. Any one test probably takes about five years to go from concept all the way to patients. But you've got to start sometime, and we might as well start now. Uh, this is where we automate the uh, processing of the DNA after we've extracted it either from blood, from stool, from tissue. And the operators bring the reagents here and we run the testing for the, uh, the analytes that we look at in, uh, in the sample to determine whether it correlates with uh, cancer, normal, how it behaves in different patient populations. This is where we formulate the reagents and different formulations. We test out different composition of reagents that actually go onto the uh, equipment that you saw in the other lab.